A cabin belonging to an outspoken critic of the Cherokee Nation landfill was burned recently, and the owner is claiming the arson was a form of retaliation for the closure of the landfill. Dillwell area cabin fire ruled arson. A fire that destroyed a cabin owned by a critic of the Cherokee Nation landfill was arson, said State Fire Marshal Sam Pinson, owned for more than 20 years by Vietnam veteran Jack Crittenden, a Cherokee citizen. The cabin is not on tribal land, but crossing tribal land is the only way to get there. It was set on fire, Pinson said. There were no utilities in the cabin, and it wasn't storming when the cabin caught fire on October 25th. Somebody had to be there. There's no other reason for it to start. Crittenton contacted federal and tribal environmental officials for more than a year complaining of various problems at the landfill, including the pollution of groundwater and seeping into Lee's Creek. Adair County Deputy Austin Young said the cabin had been burned to the ground and was still smoldering when he got to the site. Crittenton told Young he believed the cabin was set on fire because he had been trying to get the landfill closed or get a federal or state inspection of how it is operated.